A former Secretary of State appears to be interfering with the Middle East peace process. One America's Kelly Ayers explains. John Kerry is a former U.S. Senator, Democrat nominee for president, and once represented the United States on the world stage. Now in 2018, he is seen schmoozing with world leaders at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, including hallway chats with French President Emmanuel Macron and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Wednesday. But as President Trump met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Thursday, Kerry was reportedly undermining U.S. efforts to advance a peace deal between Israel and Palestine. According to an article in the Jerusalem Post, Kerry was overly critical of President Trump, telling an aide to Mahmoud Abbas, the leader of the Palestinian Authority, to ignore President Trump's call to return to the negotiation table. He then reportedly said President Trump would not be in office for much longer. There is speculation Kerry may be trying to encourage Abbas to hold off on a peace deal until he launches his 2020 bid for president, as a Middle East peace agreement would only add to the list of achievements made under President Trump. If Kerry's pass is any indication, there is no better time for peace negotiations than now. During the presidential transition period in late December 2016, Kerry gave a speech where he boasted about his understanding of the need for peace in the Middle East. And I have witnessed firsthand the ravages of a conflict that has gone on for far too long. I've seen Israeli children in Sidorot whose playgrounds have been hit by Katusha rockets. But he also seemed to sympathize with the Palestinians. I've also often visited West Bank communities where I met Palestinians struggling for basic freedom and dignity amidst the occupation. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu later criticized Kerry for his remarks. Three years earlier in 2013, Kerry thought he could bring about peace in a little more than a year, but talks in 2014 failed. The Palestinians insisted on the release of hundreds of prisoners, and Israel's defense minister at the time said it would be best if Kerry just left them alone. During that December 2016 speech, Kerry claimed he did what he could to repair relations between Israel and Palestine, despite failing to ease tensions. Despite the obvious difficulties that I understood when I became Secretary of State, I knew that I had to do everything in my power to help end this conflict. Kerry's more recent comments come as President Trump pressures Palestine to negotiate a peace deal by threatening to cut off funding. Peace is still a top priority for the Trump administration, but the president says all U.S. efforts are wasted if Palestine is not willing to work with Israel on a solution. I can tell you that Israel does want to make peace, and they're going to have to want to make peace too, or we're going to have nothing to do with it any longer. Kelly Ayers. One American News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.